Hey traders out there, Day Trader Rockstar here with an updated video going into uh, the first official week of January 2020. It's actually, uh, I just got to finish from the members watch list discussing what setups we're going to be trading next week at daytradingradio.com. But I want to also put out another video kind of reviewing some of the some of the moves in the market recently to definitely um, kind of catch you up to what's happening in the markets based off of the recent military action against Iran and the assassination of their number two man. So we happen to be, I, I, I happen to be broadcasting live that night. I didn't send out an email. I should have, I, now in hindsight, I'm thinking I should have sent out an email, but we were here. Um, this was the, the chart from yesterday and I was doing some research and working on the bot. The rock bot is uh, progressing nicely here. And right about this point, we heard of a rocket attack at the uh, airport and uh, over in Iraq. And um, the market started selling off. And once we heard that this major guy was killed, I, I realized that's pretty serious. So right around this trend line, I, I took a short. We took uh, five MESs and, and uh, I actually had some puts short uh, from that day hedging out and we just took the ride down and I went to I, you know following the news and stuff and seeing it sell off aggressively we just kind of tracked that until I ended up going home that evening and at, the, at that point it kind of bounced going into 12 o'clock and we knew probably when European markets again if you're a new trader out there there's certain time frames you should always watch and you can refer back to one of my uh, videos um, to look at important time frames in the market, just scroll back. You'll probably see it in there. I have thousands of videos on it, on uh, trading, but knowing what to expect. So, seeing that news broke here and the volume came in, um, the next important time frame is going to be that three o'clock European open. And you know, no way I was going to be standing up for that. But as you can see, we kind of drifted all night until about three o'clock. And three o'clock here, we kind of we saw volume come in and the European markets open. We kind of spiked down, reversed, and then rolled over. And then we really started rolling over with the European markets opened up. And then at 6 o'clock, we bottomed out. Um, at that point, I think we were down about 50 points on the S&P futures. If I was up at that point, and I probably should have gotten up, you know, you know, and, and again, but I was letting this thing ride. And I said, well, you know what? This type of bad news. They were basically calling for World War Three on all these channels and stuff, and how serious the situation was. So I was letting it ride, um, you know. But I did get in. We, when we did get in, I did take my um, my MES off for a nice profit today, right at the open, right around 9:30 on that pullback. We got out right here. So overall, we got tremendous gains on that. And I also took my puts off. And the good thing we did, because the market started rallying, and it just showed you the strength that something that uh, they're considering maybe bigger than the uh, the killing of Osama bin Laden, this this is going to send uh, shockwaves across the Middle East and could cause a, a you know a, a huge um, proxy war. They're saying so. You know that needs to be seen. And today was again Friday happening on Friday, so the market actually kind of bounced back up. Uh, we trade this, you know, so if you're into trading during the day and you could trade, you should definitely st stop by day trading radio and, and, and we're broadcasting live the markets all the time. And each one of these moves, we ident identify if there's any trading opportunities there, be it divergences like, um, you know, and, and pullbacks and we have our bots working for us and, you know, f you know, just doing the overall commentary. And in this in the case of today, we're waiting for some maybe type of retaliation that, uh, was rumored to come or at least expected to come from Iran and right at this point uh, during the day we had news that there was a missile attack at one of the major bases in Iraq a US base and the market sold off quickly 10 points but there was no I quickly searched the uh, you know a lot of the feeds and stuff and there was no photos and I was very suspicious of it so I was calling fake news and it eventually came out and and said it was fake news and the market rallied back up and then eventually turned over going into the close and we closed on the lows. So that leaves us going into Monday. And, uh, you know, it's, it's basically down to this. So futures open up at Sunday, uh, Sunday evening, six o'clock. There's going to be a three day morning period for this uh, general. 
And uh, I don't know if that means everyone needs to be cooled and nothing's going to happen for three days. There's also been talk about a, the, the uh, you know, a legal battle about to take place on bringing uh, charges up against um, America for assassinating a, a leader of a country or, you know, so-called one of the top leaders. So there's a lot of back and forth. Honestly, the guy was a terrorist. Um, you know, you're allowed to kill terrorists as far as I know. You don't need to give them warning or get permission, especially if uh, our troops are in, in danger or there's a, you know, there's an issue going on that needs to be dealt with right away. You know, so I don't see this escalating on the, the political front. Uh, the only thing we have to worry about is what type of retaliation is going to come from Iran, and they promised there was going to be some severe consequences and retaliation. So the market will be on edge going into this, and and we're going to have to play that. We're going to have to understand there's going to be fake news, or it might not be, there might be real news, um, and there's going to be a lot of chop here. So going into next week, I, de I designed the, HP, uh, the HPS, the High Probability Setup Watch List, around the potential of that news, and we're going to probably focus on more quality names, things that are technically really good. Um, I'm not going to mention those here. we got a few new ones on the list but uh, I will mention a few here that we're going to be paying attention to. Also, the cheaper ones and, the, and the, you know, the drug companies. And also want to point out that the Momo stocks are still in play. So you get in here early. And the best time to get into these Momo stocks is early in the morning. You know, um, in some cases, as early as 4 o'clock in the morning. But we'll call it 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock on, you know, you, could, you do have breaking news. You do have... Uh, you know, stocks that come out and they make their big moves in the morning and sometimes they continue to make their moves. I can show you great examples of these stocks that have been moving and, you know, and I'm going to, we'll point out a few of them that will be on the radar for next week. All right, let me get those up here for us. Got to get my uh, charts all out and ready here. Of course, we were always talking about AUPS. Uh, AU, AUPH, excuse me, um, Arena Pharmaceuticals. More information on the watch list video on that and that and the Veru. Again, we're gonna we discussed our exit scenario for that. A VERU, which has been a, a the best call ever. Um, and this one's kind of flying under the radar. I don't even think people realize how strong this one is. And we've been following this from the beginning. You know, we were in this here, and I can continue very proud to tell you that we got everyone in this one very early on down in the dollar and change, eventually working out, and people are now, you know, enjoying the uh, enjoying their profits. Same thing with AUPH, and there's new ones coming down the pipe right now. So a couple that I'll be watching next week. Um, for those Momo type of plays, you got to continue to watch this PTI again. I was looking at it at the end of the day, and we kind of pushed back up. We have this cup kind of handle. It's hanging in there. Had good news. They 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 um, they spun the news to make it not that great, and then they spun it back saying it was better than expected. So it's kind of drifting down here. Um, the recent high up here, you know, four and change, and this is two and change. I'm not looking for a lot, but I think you can get another. I think you can get 50 cents on this trade, which is a nice return on this. So that's uh, actually looking pretty good. Um, PTI. There's a couple of cheap ones. We're waiting for moves. The BNGO. Um, again, this, these are lottery tickets, but uh, this one's going to be an interesting one to see how it returns back and if we get back, start moving up on this. They have a. Uh, a genome device and there's some other ones and again these are kind of higher risk but they're on my list and easy enough to find when there's relative uh, strength or there's buying coming into this uh, tops is another one just to keep on your list tops had a big pop today do we get follow through early next week Do we have a Nike check mark on that again these are cheap ones they're not for everyone but this video is just for uh, you know this is not the the video just to kind of keep you abreast of some market action and some things you could be watching next week. The EXEL is a better drug company. Um, 
this one is actually mentioned on the watch list because of the fast rotation into oversold levels. The uh, push back up to an area which was really a, a key area, this breakdown, we tagged it once, we pegged it twice, three times, we broke down through, it came back, retested it. That's always a go-to trade and this was a higher probability setup trade where three of the five indicators that we pay attention to lined up. One being support and resistance, two being the moving average, and three being the stochastics being overbought. All mean that there's a better chance of a directional trade down. And from that point on, it was. But now we have a fast rotation. So I'd be looking for a bounce on this. And if we did get a confirmation bounce, uh, and again, not to mention, let me mention, not to forget to mention, there is a lot of drugs in the pipeline on this one. Um, so there's always news coming out on it. And all these are some positive news, and it probably will pop this. So this is the bigger picture on that. So some some of these stocks are lying in wait, you know, waiting for some news to come out. The um, one of our last HPS setups was waste management, and waste management has, uh, you know, from our buy trigger, and this is not the HPS site, but from our buy trigger, 1157 buy trigger, now is at 15 and change, and like, like I discussed on the other video. Almost took half of it off today. I'm going to wait until Monday. Look for a gap up. Um, what's the play for Monday? Well, no action over the weekend. Market probably gets a little relief rally saying, hey, nothing's happening. Uh, the market might gap up on that. Remember, futures open up at 6 p.m. Sunday. So that's going to be your first indication. And we'll be broadcasting live the markets like we always do at daytradingradio.com. So at any time of the day, you want to check in on the markets, just fly over there and uh, ch check it out. Also, I don't talk about enough, except a lot of the members know, you can listen to Day Trading Radio in your car or anywhere you want using TuneIn Radio, Tune in, the TuneIn Radio app. Just download the free version, type in Day Trading Radio, three separate words, Day Trading Radio, click on listen, and you'll get the live stream of, of what, listen to the music and the, the news and everything else that comes along with day trading radio. Uh, it's a great, great alternative for a car instead of listening to the, uh, you know, the <laughs> the news they spout out that's uh, already uh, biased news depending on who you listen to. It's either side either side of the it's the extreme right or extreme left. Day trading radio. We're just talking markets and uh, it's sometimes great to listen to. While you're driving around or taking care of business or at your office, that's tune in radio. Tune in radio, download the app. Don't have to pay for the paid version. Click on, scroll down, exit off the pay version, and it'll automatically go to the free version. And it'll give you an ad before the stream starts. That's all you're getting rid of the audio ad. But definitely worth, uh, you know, worth getting that. It's a fantastic way to listen to the show. Um, so that was an HPS setup. That was a beautiful. We have one that's similar to that on this week's watch list as one of the best bets. So very similar setup to waste management, expecting a very similar move, a big expansion breakout on that one. Um, so exciting. It's going to be a great week next week. If you're, if you're around, come on by. There's going to be a lot of news, a lot of action in the markets. I am uh, completing, just finishing up uh, a, a lot of work on the RockBot, which is our automated trading bot. And again, that's about it. I'm probably going to just send this video off. I wanted to get just a shout out there and just tell you that next week is going to be is going to be crazy. All right. Um, what do we do this week? Just to give you, a, a, you know, for someone out there new who's not not uh, familiar with the show. Let's just discuss some of our latest trades. Well, actually, you know what I'll do is I'm going to actually show you the dashboard. Let me bring the dashboard up for you here. i got to set up this uh, anyway. Just send out that. And i bring this over there. And boom. All right, here's, your, here's the dashboard. And you're going to probably see this streaming on. I want to, I want to pause it. So you can't, it's kind of, uh, it's showing that what I'm showing you. But um, over here is your um, HPS watch list. And the watch list has all the news feeds, the bot channel, um, the HPS channel. Let's We'll start them all black. And then I'm just going to put the trade alerts on. 
these are the trade alerts. All right, so um, added to my CGC today. Uh, let's see what else here. We sold the five uh, January puts, forty-one cents. Uh, we sold three spy uh, six cents for uh, three dollars and five cents. I think we bought that at seventy-seven cents. These are our puts that we took. Actually, caught some nice movement in these um, on the futures. And up on the top, I don't know if you can see everything on the, up on the top here. We have um, all our dashes. This is where the high probability watch list is. This is the video, the watch list that contains all the stocks that we're watching. All these are automatically um, tied to your account. So if they trigger an area, you get an email and text that you should be getting in, when you should be getting out, and if it stops, and if it's watching or stuff. Well, you know. Um, And you have your news squawk, your chat rooms, of course, up here. And if you scroll, if you're logged out and you go to day trading radio here and you're just checking out the, oh, uh, well, there's your alerts right there. If you want to get live alerts and stuff as a member. But let's go back here for a second. I just want to log out here a second and show you exactly what you're looking at when you log into day trading radio. Um, you could watch the show here Monday through Friday, 8 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Just click on that and watch it but you get all the benefits of being a member um, but if you scroll down here right under the video screen you get a 10 10 day trial so definitely try that out click on that put in your email address choose a um, choose a, a username a password confirm your password where you hear it from us send it in we'll send you back at the thing and you'll be in on the site for 10 days free nothing required enjoy it see if you like it we have a tremendous community of traders so hope to see you at Day Trading Radio. Hope to see you next week. We're going to have a busy week. 2020 is uh, going to be a huge year again. 2019 was one of our best ever. And I just can't see this thing stopping. So um, until then, Day Trader Rockstar signing out. Seeing the markets.